This episode is sponsored by Andine Chevrolet. Andine Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. And Sawney Mountain Biscuit Company. Fresh, homemade, mama approved. Welcome in to another edition of Bulldogs Unleashed. My name is David Miller, joined by Greg Walkup. Greg, how are we doing today, my friend? Why do you keep looking that way? Oh, because there's a camera. <laughs> there's a, there's a, look at there's that people guy. watching there's us people, now. There's two people watching. That's man, I'm right. doing great. How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. I thought, we were, I thought we were fall. Now it's back up. I'm sweating Warm my again. hoodies. Like, what? Messing with my emotions, hoodies, Georgia. No hoodies, yeah, what do you do? What are you? Are you a... What, hoodie short guy? Or like what's, what's the combo right now? I think the typical weather for any Georgian native yeah. in the fall slash winter is hoodie with shorts. That's your jam. That's my jam. To like Thanksgiving? Yes. Is there a breaking point? Every day. When I go to a gala, I'm wearing hoodies and shorts. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Anything fancy event, you're doing it. 100%. Man, speaking of fancy and fancy guests. Fancy guests. Who's, who's on? We're, Who we we're talking a sport that you hold dear to your heart, right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You Four, see that? three. Man, that was perfect. Yes. Still got it, Coach. Hey, we're talking basketball. Still got it. All right. And so we are going to get our girls' coaches in okay. today. Let's talk to Coach Hunton and Coach Tidwell. Let's get them on the show. But don't forget to follow Bulldogs Unleashed on Spotify. Make sure you click the bell to get a notification every time a new episode drops. Yep. But not only are you clicking like and subscribe on Spotify, you're going to mm-hmm. click like and subscribe on YouTube as well so you get a notification every time Do we it. drop a new video podcast. Yes. Let's get to the show. Let's go. All right, so we have a lot of people back in the studio today, and we also have a guest host. I, I think it seems like, and Mr. Walkup's in the background listening to this, I think we're phasing Mr. Walkup out because we've had a couple of guest hosts already. <laughs> um, and then eventually that probably means they're phasing me out too. So <laughs> we're here to say it. We got Coach Ganey joining us today. Coach, thank you so much for being here. You're one of our amazing football coaches. Football season has ended. How'd that go for you? It was awesome. Yeah? I mean, the kids really fought and battled this year. They – Showed a lot of heart and grit, and mm-hmm. that's all you can ask for as a coach. No, absolutely. So, but we're turning the page from football season, and now we're going to basketball season. But so, before we introduce our basketball coaches, we got a little bit of music going on here. I'm hoping Coach Tidwell's not too young. Maybe she recognizes this. I'm, and I'm pretty sure Coach Hutton will recognize this. Let's see if anybody knows what this is. <laughs> Mr. Walker picked this up. So do we know what this is? <laughs> this yeah. is like, I think this was like the NBA when it was on NBC. NBA and um, mm-hmm. NBC. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. So we're talking basketball. Makes me think <laughs> Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. It does. Yeah. Like the Bulls versus the Knicks, yeah. things like that. You would see on um, yes. on NBC. So we're we're in the basketball season, guys, and um, we're going to introduce our basketball coaches, Coach Hunton. You joined us last year in, in basketball. Uh, welcome back for yeah. season two for you, mm-hmm. and then Coach Tidwell, you're going to be joining us as well. So. Thank you both for joining the podcast this morning. Good to be here. Uh, Absolutely. Nah, for sure. Coach uh, Ganey, I'm going to throw it to you, man. You're leading the ship today. Well, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Here we go. So, right off the bat, quick question for both of you. Who's the best basketball player of all time? <laughs> this was a, th- Yeah, this was a debate on, on last year's episode when it we was. had other coaches in. So, she goes Jordan. Mm-hmm. I that was my answer last year. I'm sticking with it. Sticking with it? Yeah. I like it. Why Why do you say Jordan? Because I know you're not old enough to know prime Michael Jordan. I've watched it, You've though. watched them, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where, I mean, do you, where do you put, like, Kobe and LeBron? And are they in, even in the discussion? Yeah. Okay. Top ten. Top, top five. ten. Top, top, okay, top five. I like it. I have Kobe number two. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Ganey looks wow. Ganey behind, take behind, so wow. behind Michael. Okay. I'm, I'm not a LeBron fan. Yeah, I mean he's good. He's really yeah. he's good. Yes, I mean he's he's number one. It's fine. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yes. Did, why didn't we vet this before we had this guy co-host the show? Get him out of here! Oh gosh! Wow! All right. I'm not a huge NBA guy. I got you. Uh, I used to be growing mm-hmm. up. Like it was. I mean, I was a Bulls fan growing up, and then growing up in Central Florida, I was a Magic fan with Shaq and Penny Hardaway. Mm-hmm. Those guys. As I've gotten older. The NBA has gotten more annoying to me. Yeah. And so I follow more college basketball, March Madness. I just get into college basketball a lot more. College is definitely my favorite as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so much more exciting. And then being a college basketball fan and a Florida fan, you yeah. saw some back to back national championships yes. a while back yep. ago. So, yeah. Yep. 06, 07. Yeah. Yep. That was cool. That was good times for Florida. Yes. So I peeked my head in a couple times during tryouts, didn't see a ton, you know, 
super busy guy, obviously. Yeah. So how did tryouts go? Like, was there some highlights, some lowlights? What was the best part of the tryouts? So last year, first day of tryouts, I think we had combined with eighth and seventh grade girls on the first day, maybe nine or ten girls total in the gym. Total, yeah. And I remember looking at Coach Stevens at the time, and it was just like, what are we going to do? Like, are we going to have a seventh grade team? Because most of those girls were eighth graders. And then it became recruiting mode. we mm-hmm. got to get girls here. I don't care if they've played basketball before. If they're an athlete, we got to get them in this gym so they can try out. Mm-hmm. This year, first day of tryouts, the gym was packed. We had, I think, 24, 25 mm-hmm. girls in the gym for both teams. That's awesome. Um, we added a couple of athletes to the eighth grade team that were here last year. That in the first day of tryouts, I'm like, where have you been? Yeah. Like, we needed you last year. Um, so already, before we've even had a practice, our first practice is today, already we're starting out better than we did last year. So that's exciting as a coach. Now, which one is seventh grade girls? Which one's eighth grade girls? So um, I, go ahead. You're, I'm seventh grade. Seventh grade girls. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So I moved up with my mm, girls from gotcha. last year, which I kind of like that style. Yeah, for sure. Because um, you know I coached them last year, mm-hmm. and I know what I'm working with. And it's kind of cool on my part because I can see – Who's put in the work in the off season? Yeah. Who has improved? Mm-hmm. Like, man, last year she couldn't make hardly make a layup. This yeah. year she's driving into the lane, mm-hmm. and so those kind of things. So it's kind of cool to see the progression. Yeah. And in middle school, the progression is huge. Oh yeah, they can make huge leaps from I mean, year, in middle school. Year, a middle school next. athlete yeah. from you think when they get here as a sixth grader to the time they're leaving here. I mean, that's just barely out of elementary school. Almost a high school. Yeah. Like the difference. Like in high school, you don't see those big leaps. And yeah. so that's what's special about They're hitting coaching. those growth spurts. Right. All of a sudden, they're not 5'2", they're 5'7". Correct. And they're like, oh, wait, there's some more coordination that's here. Right. You finally got some handles. Like, yeah. okay, it's some things that we can work with, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess this can go to Tidwell and then Hunton as well. Coaching styles. Everybody has their way of doing things, how they motivate their kids, how they get their kids active and going. What would you say is your coaching style or have you picked some styles up of other coaches you had in the past or how do you operate your team? Well, this being my first year, I'm starting out seeing what my coaches did when I grew up and watching Hunt also. So I think making it known that I have high expectations of my kids and of the eight girls too and of keeping them motivated. That's how I've stuck and loved basketball this long. Yeah, and I want to re-emphasize on this too. So, tell me a little bit about your background, though, because uh, you joined us this year in Otwell. Are you, you look so familiar? I know you're for South County native. No, or no? I grew okay. up Cherokee County. Cherokee, okay, went so to close. Creekview High School, played nice. basketball all the way through, then went to North Georgia, studied kinesiology, and then I've grown up Cherokee K- Cherokee County yeah. and middle of Forsyth too. Okay, so my mom is works in the county also. That's right. Okay, so, nice. Yes. Yeah. Coach Hunt, what about you? Um, I'm a big motivator. Mm. Um, I feel like, you know, especially last year, my girls still let me hear it. I think one of our first games, I mean, I'm honest and upfront. I told the girls last year, very first game, we were in the locker room before the game, and I was like, there's a possibility we might not win a game this year. Yeah. And all the girls still let me have it. They're like, remember when you jinxed us last year and you <laughs> said we weren't going to win a game? Yeah. And I was like, were you there on day one of tryouts? Yeah. What would you have said? Yeah. This year, I've changed my tune. Yeah. And just because I, I do feel like that did have a little bit of an impact on the team last year. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't believe I said that. Like, you're already starting off negative. And I told the girls, I was like, we not only are going to be competitive this year, we're going to get some wins. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's what they need. And sure. You can see it in their faces. Yeah. Like, th- yeah. the difference <clears throat> from last year to this year. Mm-hmm. The girls just have a different look on their face. I've had so many girls, they'll come up to me in the hallway, and they're like, I'm so excited for this basketball season. And that's I didn't awesome. see that last year. Yeah. So that's good. That is really good. So we're all coaches here. Mm. We all have somebody that kind of pushed us or guided us to this point. Because I feel like from my, from my point of view, and I'm a coach, so many people I look back on, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, those coaches helped mold me and pushed me to be a coach. Because I feel like we don't just wake up, roll over, and say, I want to coach. Yeah. So is there somebody in your past, present, that 
help guide you into this coaching realm and this coaching venue of life? Yeah, my um, AAU spring ball coach, Stacy Williams, I started playing with him sixth grade travel and then all the way through high school. And he, best coach I've ever had. If any of my other coaches are listening, disregard that. <laughs> but what honestly. What made him a good coach? Like, what about He him? actually cared about us. Yeah. He pushed us hard to the point where, I mean, if we were running, we probably threw up. Yeah. And he loved us on and off the court. I mean, I've told this story to people before, but in college, his daughter played at Reinhardt. And so we would go watch her play. And he was like, Lita, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? I was like, coach, I have no idea what I want to do in my life. Yeah. And he was like, you got to figure it out. It's time to figure it out. So I've met with him multiple times about my direction in life, like where I want to go. And he's been there 100%. He'd pick up a phone call no matter what. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. Uh, for me, I have a couple. Um, of course, first and foremost, my dad. He coached yep. for years, 49 years to be exact. Uh, coached and taught. He was a teacher. Um, so he's, he's always going to be number one on my list. He coached me in baseball from a young age all the way through high school. Um, but the coach that's not my dad that still had a huge impact on me, his name was Coach Welty. He was also my seventh grade history teacher. And he's just one of those guys that over the years I still have a relationship with, like mm-hmm. through Facebook. And like um, I've ran into him in the past and we pick up right where we left off. And it's just one of those special teacher coach relationships that I see how he treated us as seventh grade boys Mm -hmm. and the impact he had on us. And like all of those boys that were on that team still keep in contact with him. And so I think about that and like, I kind of mold my coaching style to that with these girls. It's a little different because it was guy and guy, you know, guys coaching boys. So it's a little different with me coaching girls. I'm not going to form that kind of a relationship with them. Um, I'm sure coach Tidwell will, um, but over the years, he's reached out to me. I've reached out to him. Um, but my dad was the one that, like, I could call him if I had a coaching question. I remember last year, 0-11 season, there was a lot of times where I was like, Dad. Yeah. He was like, oh, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I coached for 49 years. If yeah. I told you I won every single yeah. oh, season, yeah. I had a winning season every year, he it's said, I'd be happen, lying. Yeah. Um, and he would always tell me, the records don't matter. That I mean, yeah, the girls are going to be upset. You know, people might want you to go undefeated every year, but he would always preach relationships. How are the kids? How are the girls? How are the players reacting to what you're doing? Mm. Are they having fun? I know it's cliche. Did you have fun in the practice? Did you have fun in the games? But really, that's what they're going to look back on Mm -hmm. after their middle school basketball career. Oh, for sure. And I think Coach Tidwell put it. Well, when she talked about that relationship piece with her coach, that's what that's when you're a player. And I think we've all played sports here. Mm -hmm. uh, The thing you look back, yeah, you look at the your your years and memories with your uh, your teammates and the battles you've gone through. But you remember the coaches. Mm -hmm. You remember the really good coaches. Mm -hmm. You also remember the really bad ones too. Yeah, Yeah. right. The ones who didn't motivate you, who talked to you poorly, Mm -hmm. who um, did not build a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. And so those things stick out. And uh, and the common theme was relationships. And I think too, you're looking at growth. Mm -hmm. We all can't win championships every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the end of the year, it's going to be one team. Yeah. So there's going to be what is nine other teams mm-hmm. in this in this county who are not going to be on that podium. Yeah. But as a coach, you look at, did we get better? Mm-hmm. Did we develop? Right. Are you a better athlete now than you were at the beginning of the season? Those are the skills. Yeah. And are you a better human being? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Are you a better student? Are you a better athlete? Those are things that, you know, hopefully these kids one day will look back and be like, that's what I remember about my yeah. time at Otwell, you know, because that's as players, that's what we remember. Yeah. So, um, one last thing, we're going to move on over to our last segment of the show. Last year, we used to do Hot Seat. We've transitioned this year. Now we're doing the Lightning Round. All right. So, Lightning Round is sponsored by Sonny Mountain Biscuit Company. Fresh, homemade, mama-approved biscuits. And yes, I wish we are. had some biscuits right here. <laughs> and we're going to work on that. We're going to get some biscuits. <laughs> but uh, the way this works is Coach Gandy's going to ask some random questions to you guys. And so... We want the first thing that pops to your mind oh, when right. you hear this question. He'll alternate between the two of you. You can't pass. Mm. It's the first thing that okay. comes to mind. All right? 
Are we ready to play? Yes. All yep. right. Let's do it. All right, Coach Kenny, go ahead. We'll start. We can start with Coach Tidwell first. Favorite junk food? Skittles. Nice. Biggest pet peeve? Uh, smacking when Ooh. you're eating. Yeah. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Is it called X now? Do we have to call yes. it X? Yeah, yeah. I, I see it. X X and like, I see it. Always always call it Twitter. It's Twitter. So. Sorry. Yep. Favorite emoji? Uh, the poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs or cats? Cats. Biggest inspiration? Ooh. My dad. Awesome. Love it. TV show you binge watch? Oh, One Tree Hill. Oh, that's a great show. Favorite actor? Vince Vaughn. Classic. Great Love answer. <laughs> These are great answers. <laughs> yes. Favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Biggest fear? Uh, heights. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> are aliens real? Yes. Can you prove it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I cannot prove it. Okay. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Favorite city? Nashville. Nashville. Ooh, that's a good one. Food you hate? Ooh. Uh, beets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Dwight. Sorry. Favorite thing you do? <laughs> Favorite thing you do in your spare time? Hang out with friends. Movies that make you laugh the hardest? Uh, like the old, like Tommy Boy, Ace mm. Ventura. Yeah. Like the old movies. Yes. From my childhood. I've seen those. Yeah. <laughs> Trend you can't stand. The Chevron. Now, well, uh, okay. So the obviously. The Grand Chevron. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm obviously too old I've now never heard, to I've, know yeah. this trend. I'm going to have to look this up. Where's my research and development guy? Mr. Walker, <laughs> get, get on that. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Something you can't live without. Mm, my family. Yeah. Favorite phone app. TikTok. One thing on your bucket list. Last one. Uh, I want to go to New York City Christmas time. Ooh. That'd be nice. To the big tree? Yeah. I've never been to New York City, so. Same. At all. Yeah, okay. Never. Nice. Been to, yeah. Coach Tibble, we'll, we'll let you end with that one, too. What's on your bucket list? Go to Hawaii. Ooh, nice. that's a good one. Great choices there. Well, it was fun to have you guys on the show today. Thank you so much, Coach Ganey. Amazing job. I think Mr. Walkup is in the back listening. He's <laughs> He knows he's not getting back in that chair anytime soon, no, probably. No. Great job uh, joining us today. We appreciate you being here. And coaches, thank you so much for being here. We are looking forward to an amazing basketball season. We saw in tryouts, like you said, it's already started on a, yeah. on a, on a positive note. Um, so congratulations on a successful tryouts, and good luck on the season this year. Thank you. Thank you. That was our latest episode with our girls' basketball coaches, and this episode has been sponsored by Andine Chevrolet. Andy Chevrolet together. Let's drive. And Greg, we had a special guest host joining us today. Right there, David Miller. You can't see him. He's John Cena. You can't Damn. see me, but he was here. Coach Ganey did an amazing job today. Love what he did. Love how a little little takeover edition. I'm I'm nervous he's gonna take my gig as a co-host. Are you I, nervous? I, I agree. I think he's gonna be moving one seat over the whole and, row and taking over everything. So <laughs> you be careful. he did an amazing job. I'm so excited for the basketball oh, season. Yeah. I know Greg, you're a basketball guy. What are you looking I'm forward a baller. to? Baller. Got season? my Jordan swag yes. on today. No, I I love the sport. It's a great sport and I I'm excited for Coach Tidwell and Coach Hutton. They're just phenomenal educators, great great human beings and um that's what we do here. Uh, well, we we raise our kids up. We are champions of hope and I can't wait for them to influence them off the court, but also on the court. Coach, get some yeah, W's. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's get those wins. Sir. Thank you for listening to the Bulldogs Unleashed podcast. My name is David Miller reminding you to embrace the journey. Thanks again. Thanks again.